In the 2003 blockbuster Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp plays Captain Jack Sparrow, a swashbuckling, wisecracking pirate who teams up with blacksmith Will Turner to save the dashing Elizabeth Swan, played by Kira Knightley. This dock is off limits to civilians. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't know. If I see one, I shall inform you immediately. Hey, you look lovely, Elizabeth. <laughs> I uh, apologize if I seem forward, but I must speak my mind. Early in the movie, Elizabeth faints from atop the lookout wall and plummets into the ocean below. Using our video processing software, we can determine that Elizabeth falls for four seconds before she hits the water. Using what we know about physics, let's see how high the castle wall is and also estimate the final velocity of Elizabeth as she contacts the water. And then they made me their chief. Elizabeth? Elizabeth! God. The rocks! Sir, it's a miracle she missed them! To analyze this situation, we must first realize that the time it takes for Elizabeth to fall off the cliff into the water will give us our time for our kinematic equations, V, I, V, F, D, A, and T. Let's start by writing those down and filling in what we know. Anything that falls starting at rest will have an initial velocity of zero, so that's easy to fill in. Final velocity we don't know yet, but we're looking for it. We don't know the distance yet either, but we can realize that the distance we find that she falls is the same as the height of the cliff. We know acceleration must be 9.81 meters per second squared down because we're on the surface of the Earth, and we'll say that's positive because we'll set up down as the positive direction. And finally, we know time is 4 seconds from our previous measurements. Now that we know all this, we can start solving for the distance that she fell, which is also the height of the cliff, using our kinematics equation, d equals vit plus 1 half at squared. We start off by writing the formula, then we substitute in with units. Since vi is 0, vi times t must be 0, plus 1 half at squared, a is 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by the time squared, which will be 4 seconds squared. I plug that into my calculator, and I come up with the value of roughly 78.5 meters. A pretty high cliff, maybe 85% of the length of a football field. Now let's try and find her final velocity as she hits the water. To do that, we go back to our reference table and find our kinematic equation. VI is again 0, so we just have A times T, which is 9.81 meters per second squared times 4 seconds. Plug that into my calculator again, and I get 39.2 meters per second. How fast is that? Well, to put it in perspective, if we converted that to miles per hour, that 39.2 meters per second would be roughly 88 miles per hour. One expert claims the upper limit for surviving water entry is around 80 miles per hour. Since Elizabeth hit it around 88 miles per hour, it's doubtful she survived her impact. However, to make the movie a little bit longer than the 10 minutes that probably would have had you upset if you'd bought your $10 movie ticket, she survives the entry into the water, Johnny Depp saves her, and they go roaming the high seas, having many adventures and lots of fun along the way.